While we're counting down the days until the kickstart of the 2023 Mr. Olympia this weekend, I want to revisit the 2022 Mr. Olympia with you guys. And since we all received the sad news about Nick Walker's injury and his consequent absence from the Olympia, I want to share with you guys why, in my opinion, Nick Walker should have won the 2022 Mr. Olympia. As a disclaimer, it's important to note that Nick is my favorite bodybuilder today and my opinion is undoubtedly biased. However, in an attempt to be as objective as possible, I'll explain why I believe he should or could have won the Olympia last year. Many people assume that just because he took third, he wasn't truly in the conversation for winning. You've probably noticed by now that I've edited this awesome footage featuring the top 6 from last year's first callout. This edit certainly deserves at least a like from you guys. All the footage from last year, especially the first callout, was subpar. The pay-per-view lacked quality and other sources like NPC News, for example, never focused on the entire lineup, constantly shifting between competitors, which was frustrating. So big shout out to Gilco Productions for the awesome individual routine footage. Be sure to check the description for his social media links. And a special thanks to Super Setman for his patience in putting all this together. However, it's worth noticing that Big Rummy, Brandon Curry and Samson Dauda were not in the discussion to win last year. So let's narrow our focus to the top 3 and delve into the case for why Nick Walker could have been crowned the champ. Uh, I almost forgot. As per my 2023 Mr. Olympia prediction, I had Nick in third place, but listen carefully to what I said. In my opinion, at the 2023 Olympia, Nick will look like the winner and will be considered by many as the rightful winner of the show. He will outcondition Derek and outmass Hardy, but ultimately he will fall short in the judges' eyes because of the same lack of good balance. Front double biceps. A case of apples, oranges and grapes, each looking good in his own way. Derek boosts the best silhouette but lacks detailed guns. Nick with the worst silhouette has by far the best guns. Heidi with a great silhouette falls between Derek and Nick in terms of guns. Moving downstairs Derek ranks the lowest, Heidi the highest and Nick falls in between. Overall this pose could be anyone's preference. I'm sure everyone in the comment section has a theirs, but personally, I lean towards Nick Walker. But it's a subjective call and any of them could take it indeed. The front lat spread is an easy call, requiring minimal analysis. Nick falls short, no doubt about it. Derek lacking details upstairs and with a lacking chest can't challenge Hardy in this pose, so Hardy first, Derek second and Nick in the side chest pose, Derek shines with an awesome lower body but lacks details and separation upstairs, placing him a distant third in my estimation. Between Hadi and Nick, it's a close call. Hadi boosts a better chest, a significant factor in the side chest pose. However, Nick dominates with overall thickness in the arms and shoulders compared to Hadi. I perceive Hadi's arms and shoulders as a more distracting weakness than Nick's chest, so overall, I give the pose to Nick. Back double biceps. Granted, Hadi's footage is from his individual presentation in the prejudging where he was competitor number one. It's worth noting that by the time he reached uh, the compulsory round, he got much tighter through the back, let's keep that in mind. However, I still believe he is third in this pose, as Derek and Nick excel overall. Between Derek and Nick, it could go either way, Derek probably has the better back, but Nick's back is also impressive. Unpopular as it is, I still believe Nick compensates with more completeness in the arms and legs. I'm not prioritizing guns or calves in the back double, but given how close their backs are, Nick's overall superiority in the other departments, along with a drier look, may give him the edge over Derek. Of course, this pose could go either way, and at the end I will count the points in each pose, and I will give you guys a case for Derek winning the pose as well, so don't worry about it. 
Derek's straighted glutes deserve a mention as well. Back last spread. Despite Nick's impressive back, he somehow fails to showcase it in the level of the back double in this pose, possibly due to a lack of clavicle width. He clearly struggles in the lat spreads, that's for sure. I believe Derek edges him out in this pose being wider and also because the arms are not a factor anymore. However, Hadi surpasses them both in this other back pose. With him getting drier in the comparison rounds, he definitely won this pose in my opinion. Heidi is wider than Nick and fuller than Derek through the back. The side triceps pose brings us back to Nick and Heidi much like the other side pose. Derek looks good in his own way, but his triceps and upper body definition fall short against the other two. I'm particularly impressed with Heidi's pose here. I didn't expect him to push Nick this much. While Nick has the better lateral head, Hadi edges him out with a more aesthetic look and a superior side leg. This could go either way, but this time I think I'm leaning towards Hadi. Abs and thighs. Despite having the best proportions, Derek falls to third place due to the weakest abs and thighs. Nick's presentation is impressive, although not as tight as seen at the 2023 Arnold for example, even considering here the off angle he still looks good, Hadi showcasing a great abs and thighs combo secures a win in this pose overall. Last pose is the most muscular and in this one it's Nick Walker all day, he simply dominates the other two guys with those crazy arms and shoulders, overall fullness and dryness. Hadi looks good especially with those striations through the chest, but lacks the guns, similar to the side chest pose. Derek is a distant third again, no doubt about it. Now these are the total points adding together their placement in each pose, the fewer points the better. However this excludes the front double biceps for now which could have gone to any of them honestly. So. Excluding the front double, we can clearly see that Derek is a distant third. Even if we gave him the win in that pose, which would be his only win in this comparison by the way, he would still be last. Let's consider the case for Derek winning the back double too, which was a strong possibility. Even if Derek had won both the front and back double, he would still be last. And there's little debate about the other poses, so Obviously Derek was gifted second place last year. The top two should have been Hadi and Nick. Nick and Hadi would have been neck and neck for first. Of course in any case, if we give the front double to Hadi, he's the clear winner. In my opinion though, Nick is the winner of the front double and the winner of the entire comparison overall. So there you have it, my case for Nick Walker to be the 2022 Mr. Olympia. Maybe a bit biased, but he should have definitely been in the top 2 last year above Derek Lansford.